welcome back to the Quilting Corner. Today is going to be a little different. I was not able to video a video this morning, so I had to pre-record this video. And I did not have a subscriber spotlight because I had to do it early. So if you've submitted something, don't worry about it. I will get it in the next time and I apologize. If you have not and you want to, submit it via email or text. Text us at 205-903-4133 or email us at socharmingquiltshop at gmail.com and we would be happy to include it in the next video. If you have submitted something and you've not seen it on here, well, I guess it's slipped through the cracks or something. I'm not sure. But if you have, please don't take it personal. Please reach out to us and we will get it on the next uh, episode. But for today, this being the first Saturday of the month, we need to have a block done. Remember, we're doing the block each month, the first of the month. And so we've picked one today, or for today, and it's called the Yankee Puzzle. And it needs two fabrics and a background. And our background is gonna be the white. And then we've picked, or I've picked, these two prints to be my prints. So you'll need a background print and then two coordinating um, prints. And what you'll need is a real easy cut for this block. Everything is cut at three and seven eighths. So every square that I tell you you're gonna need is gonna be a three and seven eighths square. Why they don't come up with a four inch square across these things, I don't know. But it's three and seven eighths, so we're not gonna question it, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> We're going to need, let's see, for the background, we need eight white squares. Ours is white, whatever color you're doing. Your background will need eight three and seven eighths squares. For the other two coordinating pieces, you'll need six squares of your main print. There's two prints. There's one that's not so prominent and there's one that's prominent. The prominent for me is gonna be red, so I'll need six of those. And for the not so prominent, you'll just need two three and seven eight squares. So I've already cut all these and now we're gonna keep going. I had to bring you down to the table for the next step. What we're gonna do for the next step is we are going to take each one of these white squares and we're going to draw, now this is our background piece. We're gonna draw a line on the diagonal of each one of these pieces. This will eventually be our cut line, but for right now, we are going to draw on each square. And again, you've got eight of these. Almost done with this step. and we are done. What we are going to do from here is to pair these up with each one of these. So we're gonna put the right side of this fabric to the right side of this fabric, and your line should be going like this. We're gonna take this to the sewing machine. This will eventually be our cut line, but for right now, we're gonna stitch a quarter inch on this side and a quarter inch on this side. And we are gonna do this with every square we've cut. So a white piece should be on each side of each one of these squares. Now we're gonna take it to the machine and sew it on each side of that line that we just drew. To make this easy, you can chain piece all of these. And I'll show you what I mean if you're not familiar with that. There's one, we'll take another one, line them up, stitch on this side of the line at a quarter inch. We'll do this for each set. All of these sets will be sewn in this fashion. So once I get this done, 
we'll turn it around and go the other way. So now I have sewn on each side, I mean on one side of each of these squares, and now they're like this. That's why it's called chain piecing. Now we're gonna take it and go the other side. So we've sewn on this one side of it. Now we need to go to the other side of it and sew. So I'm gonna do that again. And I'm just gonna keep it going. Lining up each square as it get to the as it gets to the needle. When we get it done, we'll just cut them apart like this. And then we will cut them down that line that we drew, turning each square into two half square triangles. So now I'll take my rotary cutter and my ruler and I'll cut down that middle line that we drew a minute ago which turns this square into two half square triangles. I'll do this for each one. And each triangle that we make, each half square triangle, will be half white and half a print. So once we've got all those done, we'll take it to the ironing board and we will iron them open. So I'll take them to the ironing board, iron each one of these open. While I'm doing so, I'll make the two stacks, one of the red and one of the orange. I'm gonna keep doing this and when I get them all ironed, I will come back to you. So now that they're ironed, we've, I've already cut off the little dog ears off the side, those little pieces that hang off the side. They aggravate me. I don't know why I, I cut them off. You can leave them in and leave them in the uh, seam when you sew them together. That's fine. To me, it adds just a tiny little bit of bulk and I just don't like them, so I cut them out. So here's my two stacks of my different colors. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my main piece, which is, in my case, red, and I'm gonna form a pinwheel here in the center, which is like this. Now that's the center of my block. Then I'm gonna take my other pieces and I'm gonna form the outsides of them. Take an orange, put it right there, an orange right there, an orange here, and an orange here. Then all the rest of them are gonna be my reds. So now it is starting to come together.
and there's my block. So now we just do like we have for all the other blocks. We're just gonna take one and sew it to the next and sew that to the next and sew that to the next and get one row done. Do the same thing with that row, the same thing with that row, same thing with that row, and then we'll sew our rows together. So we'll start by putting this one on top of this one and sewing down that quarter inch line, quarter inch seam down that side. And by the way, I almost forgot to tell you these, all these blocks should measure three and a half inches. Your finished block will be, finished will be 12 inches. But each one of these squares should measure three and a half inches. So I'll take my first one that I've sewn together, iron it open. Now it looks like that. I'm gonna sew this one to this one. I gotta change my bobbin. Doesn't it always work like that? I'm gonna change my bobbin and I'll come back to you. All right, we're back in business with a fresh bobbin and ready to continue this square. This one goes to here. And that finishes our first row. And now we'll keep going with the rest of the rows. Now that we've got all of our rows together, we just need to sew these rows together. So now we do it just like we do all the other ones. We're gonna take this one and lay it on top of this one. Push these out of your way for right now. We will take pins and we'll line this seam up right here that goes diagonal so that your ends should be meeting right there. Then you're gonna to come to this first seam and you're gonna take that seam right there from the top square and the bottom square, roll them to the top once they've met. You do the same thing here. You'll meet those seams, roll it to the top, pin it. Same thing here, match those seams up this seam and this seam, 
roll it to the top, pin it, and then your ends should meet right here, and they do. So you pin it, and when you check it, so now we'll sew down this line right here. Everything we're doing is a quarter inch. Take your pins out as you get to them. Unless you don't put them in high enough, then it's fine because your needle won't go over them. So if you can slide them back just a little bit, you can keep them in. Otherwise, take them out before you get to them. Now these two, these two rows are sewn together. So when I open them up, they will look like this. And what I'll do now is I'll iron them. Iron them open and they look like this. These are my top two rows. Now I'll take the bottom two rows and do the same thing. Flip it on top of each other. Pin this corner. Match my seams. Roll it to the top. Pin it. Match my seams. Roll it to the top and pin it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take this seam and this seam, match them up where they're lined up, roll them on top of each other till you get to the top so you know that those two seams right there are lined up. Then my ends, I'll pin and I'll sew this one. Take it out, open it up, and it looks like this. I'll iron this one open. And now it should look like this. All we have to do now is take this one on top of this one and do the exact same thing. Pin it, match those seams, roll them to the top, match these seams, this seam and this seam, roll it to the top, pin it in place, same thing again. in this end and sew this seam. your block. All we have to do is iron it flat and we are done with this block. That's what it looks like. So now I'm going to iron it open. And when you get it done, that's what it looks like. When you've got your block made and you've ironed it all flat, you're ready to square it up 
we need this block to be 12 and a half inches. Well, mine is close to 13. So what I'm going to do is I've got to trim it down. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to trim this side. Let me move you backwards. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna trim this side ever so slightly. Because I don't want it to where one side is into this. I don't wanna cut into my piece. So I'm gonna cut one side and I'm gonna turn it, line it back up on my mat. I'm gonna ever so slightly trim this side Then I've got two sides that are done. And that side does measure 12 and a half. This side almost measures 12 and a half. So I've got to square this side up to the 12 and a half. And then I've got 12 and a half. Let's see if I don't move it. 12 and a half this way by 12 and a half this way. It's got one side that just needs a little bit of work, not much. But I'll straighten this side up. Now, we're a 12 and a half inch square and we are done with this block. And we are now done with our block and it's that easy. This is just a bunch of half square triangles sewn together into this fashion called the Yankee Puzzle. I love this square. This would be a beautiful quilt in all the squares done like this, just different colors. Even the same colors. Imagine this in like a red, white, and blue all the way across the quilt or these colors all the way across or different colors for each square. There's lots of ways to do any quilt and this is no different. So we have finished another block for our block series for the rest of the year. We'll keep doing this until we are done with uh, the squares. I don't even know exactly where we are in these squares, the number wise, but we're not there yet, so we're gonna keep going. We will have another square the first of the next month and until then, we'll keep plugging away at different projects we've got going, different quilts we're making, different pillows, whatever we're working on, we will keep on going. I hope you enjoyed this block and this episode, and I hope you make some. If you do, send me some pictures of what you're making. I love seeing what you guys are making as well. So until next time, you guys have a great week, a great weekend, and we will see you next time here on the Quilting Corner. Happy quilting.